I don't thank you. Give me the liquor. But I'ma show you how. Give me the liquor. Tell mama, don't be mad how you. Get it, get it. If you don't know, money makers rule the world, so come with us. I don't thank you. Give me the mama. But I'ma show you how. Give me the mama. If you don't know, money makers rule the world. Mad class scientific studio. What's happening? What's happening? You got your boy Gutter Kane up in this motherfucker, the Gutter Man. You tuned in to Serving the Raw Podcast. You know what I'm saying? You know the motto and you know the scope. We keep it 100, authentic, and completely raw. So, I got a special guest today. I had to track him down, you know what I'm saying? I had to put the bolo out on him, you know what I'm saying? Facts. But, uh, really <laughs> but this, is a, really this is a cat, man. I've been following him for a long time, been knowing him for a long time, and he's been really thorough in his music scene, you know what I'm saying, in the Pacific Northwest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first time I heard him, you know what I'm saying? He really was doing that buzzing in my city. So I want to give a shout out to Mr. So Lacey, City Wilson. What's up, man? What's going on, big dog? <laughs> and we distant family. They don't, you know, they don't know. We tapped in all the way from South Carolina to the coast. You know? Already, already. Hey, and, uh, so I know what I saw you. You was like, you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, good. You know, I was like, what you want to drink? You was like, Steve, you give me a little bit of control and shit. So yeah, I, that's I what I said. So I came through with the. My God. <laughs> my God. My God. It's a small bottle, goddamn. But, 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 hey, but we only know for us anyway. Hey, hey drink responsibly. <laughs> we go crap. We're going to drink this responsibly. Already. We got yes, some more to do. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Please, pull me this, some day. This is dope. I just want to say to you, man, you know, uh, let me give you your flowers for a minute, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You know, because, you know, you was doing this before. And I, I've been in a group, and it was five of us. But even just in the two man group in the group settings, they ain't paying us. So we we you know we ain't gonna promote too much of nothing because they ain't paying us yet to promote their products on here. You f- you figure that? I know I'm, I'm I know I'm uh I'm gonna get to the monetization. <laughs> oh, don't work. Hey, look, check this out. You know what we gonna do though? What's that? You get the thing. Everybody, we gonna get you some of the uh, the stick gang liquor. Oh shoot! Oh well, hey. Yeah, we got the stick gang gas drink. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. We got the dad's drink. You know we got the clothing line. Well, hold on. We'll, we'll get to yeah. all that. That's actually one of my questions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, you got to open this, man. I can't. I can't. I got you. I can't, I, came, uh, I came prepared. I swear. You know what I'm saying? Especially for the first episode. But you know what I'm saying? I, I want to thank everybody, man. Please subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, please tap in. I, I do want to give a, a, a few shout outs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, real quick before we even get started. Uh... To my hometown, Jonesboro, Louisiana. I love all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to book me for a show ASAP. You know I, what I'm saying? I just need a couch to sleep on. <laughs> and a home cooked meal. I take care of the rest. Yeah, they get them home cooked meals That's down there, but they don't even be playing. That's for real, for real. Uh, Olympia Vodka, which I'm gonna get. I'm finna get some of the Olympia Vodka in here next, next time I do a show. I ain't gonna lie to me. Have you had that? Hey, you know what? Like anything that's from out here, uh-huh. from the Washington, I like. I rock with it. Oh, so really? it's crazy because you said the Olympia vodka. Yes. Because it was like we, I was talking to somebody about the brands and they and they and I said uh, they said would you do a show for somebody here and I said anything in my city I try to support. Oh really? Because I can't be the I'm only the king because my city allows me to call myself that. Okay, I can I can I can dig that. But I am the king, like we know this. I can dig that. I, can <laughs> dig that. I also want to give a shout out to Donnie Houston's podcast down in uh, Houston, down in H Town. You know what I'm saying? I how I? Already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Danny Houston, man. Uh, you know, his podcast is on YouTube, man. He got it on SoundCloud, Spotify, everything, man. But he's a big inspiration for me for getting this popping. You know what I'm saying? And, and keeping it authentic, man. You know what I'm saying? With the hip hop. I also want to give a shout out to Be High ATL. You know what I'm saying? And that's another podcast, I, you know what I'm saying? That's real thorough that I follow. You dig? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Check out their stuff on YouTube. But, uh, shoot, you ready? You ready? Oh, hold on. Yeah. No, no shout out to Nori and DJ EFN. They some real ones. EFN. When EFN is so real, I'm just a rapper from Washington. But I didn't hit him on Twitter a few times. Oh, Nori is my nigga. Yeah, that's my dog. Nori, Listen, man. You, I gotta, am, you gotta relax. Hold on. <laughs> I am the West Coast Nori Think of me and Noriega in the same room. You know, just in the oh, studio. Think of me and Nori on buzzing in my city. That'll be live. That that'll would be, be one of the most classy hip hop songs of all time. That'll be live. <laughs> that'll be live. <laughs> That'll be live. And shout right. out to Lover J, man. Get well. 
you know, the ambassador of the 360. You know, anything we do in hip hop in this city, from this podcast to City Wilson to any rapper to any b boy to anything that's hip hop in the Lacey culture. Run only. You know what I'm saying? He was the ambassador. So, I, you know, and we want to give him a shot, get well soon. Shout out to Baby DeRay, rest in peace. Like, we're just going to get it out the way, man, because that's how you keep him alive. You just speak on him and talk about him, man. Already. So, so City, where, where are you from? Well, let me, let me give it to y'all. I'll give it to y'all. I'll explain it. I was born. In the Ohio Valley in Weirden, West Virginia, 1979, worst worst snowstorm in West Virginia history to this day. Mm-hmm. When I was one and a half, my mom packed us up. I I went. I don't know what it is. You know me. We always talk our history, but I got a story. Mm-hmm. I remember my mom at one and a half. I remember getting off the ground, busting downtown Olympia. Damn. Had a little bit of family out here, and uh, I'm, I've been here since I was one and a half. So. I was born in West Virginia, and as I said, give to but I'm from Lacey. You're from Lacey. Right? This is where I learned to be a man. This is where I understood life. You know, I always salute my hometown, West Virginia, but I can't say I'm from West Virginia. I ain't go to them schools. I don't act like I don't have that. I got you. That interaction. Yeah, yeah. they love me out there. I just was out there a couple months ago, but I'm a Lacey. I'm Lacey. Oh shoot! I understand that, man. I can dig it. So, so when did you? When did you? Like, what? So, age when you when you started rapping? When you first started rapping? How old were you? Eight, nine. Would you, like, put freestyling, cyphers? Like so, what? my grandmother was Barbara O'Neill, and she had a jazz restaurant out here. Right on 4th and Columbia. It, and it was basically like, uh, if you was a jazz blues type of artist, mm-hmm. yeah, if you didn't play barbs on the West Coast, you ain't make it. So, for me, it was, uh, it was crazy as I heard, uh, it was Isaac McMillan, Rest in peace, Aunt Carol. Her son had played a a hip hop mixtape, and this dude was beatboxing Sanford and shit. But he was, doing, <laughs> he was doing it like it was underwater. Oh shit! So for me, I wanted to be New Edition, and I for crazy, I wanted to be Bobby Brown, like all new, like I'm New Edition, Michael Jackson, R and B. To the core, so the hip hop wasn't. I heard the run. It wasn't. I didn't care about the. If yeah. I couldn't dance when Kid and Play came out, <laughs> you feel me? I think everybody was trying to do that. <laughs> but it was because you could dance, and I wanted yeah. to be an R and B singer. So I'm seven, eight years nine going to talent shows. See, uh-huh. people don't know. City was on the break dance team. Like I was doing talent shows, like this entertaining music, and then my voice changed. Oh, okay. So I was about eight and a half, nine, and I heard, I don't even remember what rap song it was. And I heard some older homies rap downtown at the bus station. Because it used to be right by my granny's thing, so that was my playground. Okay. You feel me? The community center, youth center downtown had a youth area, so if you was a kid, once you could back then ride the bus, eight, nine, you feel me? Because small Olympia. Yeah. So I heard these dudes rapping, I was just jumped in and just, everybody stopped and looked. And was like, yo, who's this little kid doing that? It was like, that's a little aunt. And I like, back in the day, stealing cars, I was the radio. It was just freestyling. Like, oh, okay, so you was always in the music. So I got a video, yeah. actually, this lady named Esther Trula, Esther Shivert. She just passed away, and I was trying to... She has a video of me at nine years old at two o'clock in the morning where that building, one, two, three, fourth is, it was a parking lot. She has a video of me rapping. At nine years old at 2.30, 2.30 in the morning. I think I heard you say something about that on one of your Instagram stories. Yep, she said she 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 still had it. I was trying to get it from her. She failed. I didn't get in contact with her. But she she said her. She made a couple copies. But, yeah, I was. that's what I wanted to do, man. Like, I met Kenny G, all that. Like, I knew I met, I think, this couple you of... You met Kenny G? Yeah, I met Kenny G before Kenny G blew up. Oh, damn. Like, that's I, an icon, I, Kenny G. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, if you... That's what I'm saying. Like, if you... Any black shows that was concerts, mm-hmm. they the, my grandma catered them to come with Shout the Kenny G. G. Yeah. My right. grandmother was one of the delegates for Washington. So if you go look at Michael Dukakis and uh, 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 Jesse Jackson, yeah, when they say we give uh, uh, the vote to Washington to Michael Dukakis, if you go look at that election under the Washington sign, that's my grandmother, it's Cora Pigford, and that's Reverend Wendell D. Morris who uh, uh, baptized me, New Life Baptist Church. Oh shit! Out of Lacey. <laughs> yeah, it used to be right on Bigelow. That's what's up. Shout out to New Life. Yeah. All righty. Hey, well, what's up? Who was some of your uh, influences, rapping wise? Because you know mine was like mostly down south because I'm from Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? 
But you know, I was like UGK. So really, to be real with you, my influence mm -hmm. was my as far as the rap mm -hmm. to make me was really my homies, like Trey Black from Seattle, right? I met him at Maple Lane. He was one of the first dudes that told me, uh, bro, you're a dope freestyler. This is 94, 95. Write it down. Right? Mm -hmm. And that just that just gave me that I know how to write even though I don't. My other was like uh, my my brother C.D. Sang. You know, from Tacoma. Yeah, CD. I know C.D. Sang. C.D. Sang. 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 Yeah, saw the C.D. Like me and him, 96. Me and him. Uh, our other brother, Pimp Little. Maserati Mock. Brucey. The four of us, you know. We like brothers. So you listen to more people that was... Around. It wasn't even listening. It was just because these dudes was like... They was dope. Uh -huh. Just rapping. And they was writing. Right? And I would, and they was in the trenches with me. Like Trey Blacks and Maple Lane with me. And I'm like, fuck everything on the radio. Right? His raps with me and him person to person. I'm a fan of him. So I'm... I'm get, we the same age, but I'm getting advice from him. And then CD was... I'm motivated by my brother. Like... He's the Mac. Like, I can talk this gangster shit, but just listening to writing raps with him, I was more of a fan than the music we was bumping because I was never the, I was never the rap fan. So you, okay, so. Like, my um, favorite so, all hip-hop rappers of all time. Yeah. If I told y'all my top five, What's the, your top five, the internet would break. Where's the top five? I'm going to tell y'all the greatest rapper of all time. Huh? LL, LL Cool J. Find me an era where LL Cool J's music won't stand the test of time because he's made a song in every era and generation. He was the first one to show you could make a love song on a hip hop ballad. Well, well what, okay. Well, what city's top five? So number okay. so, hold on, so number one is number, number one, one is LL. LL. Okay. Number two is Pop. Okay. Right. All right. Number three is Jada Kiss. All right. That's number three. I get and you. then my fourth. My, my, I mean, uh, cause I said what I say. I said pop. You said uh, LL, LL first. LL, pop, Jada. Yes. Right. Then my four is is it Biggie's not even in my top fifty, so we can get that out of there right now. Right. My fourth would be probably Wayne. Okay, Lil Weezy. Like would probably be <laughs> yeah, would probably be Weezy, and and matter of fact, no, my fourth. Oh my fault. Oh no, you good. go. I forgot. About, my fourth would actually be Nipsey. Okay. And then my fifth would, would probably, I'd probably have to go to Wayne. Wayne, okay. And That's then, what's on the top five, though. And then, that ain't bad. And, 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 I, and I said LL because he stood, he stood the test. I mean, I ain't going to lie. Shout out to LL because he just got uh, inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall oh, of Fame like, yeah, to, uh, yesterday with uh, Jay-Z. That Nicholas right there is, uh, like, you got to think he's been doing this from the 80s and LL can make a song right now. It's relevant. For me, pop is because... Pop was, he came to wake us up, and we missed part of it. Hell yeah, we damn sure did. You feel me? But one person who didn't miss it, you feel me? Like, oh, that's why we're Pop. That's like with him. He was just, he's a, his music stands the test of time. Oh, like, yeah. There's no question. Like, Biggie was great, don't get me wrong. But you can't put Biggie on the level of Pac off of two albums when Pac's first album to his songs when he's gone stand the test of time. Well, no, I've had that discussion with people because technically Biggie only released the first album. The second one was after his death. Exactly. So, I mean, he didn't actually get a chance to even see that second so one. So, we're breaking off of potential. Like, yeah. Pun. Pun was great. Yes. Right? Now, yes. we go with what their potential should be. There's no question they would have been, but we can't. New York discredits pop, mm -hmm. but Jada, Jada oh, Kiss. Yeah. Oh man, Kiss is solid. Like, did y'all see what he did at the damn verses? I mean, I love. Look, I'm a fan of Dipset. That, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Dipset, yeah. Dipset, Dipset, Dipset. Y'all see the spark? It's that Jimmy shit. It's that hey, pimp life. You I know. Mean? Look, man. But hey, man, the locks they they ass up, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. They hit they ass up, and I I was hurt, nigga. I was Jay, hurt. He proved what he always been saying. I'm top five hurt. dead or alive. I was hurt though. In the soul, I was hurt. That's one of my dream battles. Now, okay. So I sat back, okay, and I actually jammed. Welcome to Lazy. The whole album? The whole album. <laughs> the whole album. Okay? The whole album. And there's two songs on there that, I mean, you know, that I, I just, I love. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of respect for it. You know, the first one is Buzzing in My City. Okay? Because I always felt like 
Like, that was the shit. Buzzing in My City song came about because, uh, so the first four songs, I, you heard the whole album, Lacey. Yeah, I heard the So it, you heard Attached Part 1. Yes. That's the first song I ever recorded in the studio. I don't know how to count bars. That song was only 12 bars, and I freestyled the end. That's the first song I ever wrote. Okay. Right? Like like that. The, my nigga sent me the, the track. I didn't hear nothing the way he said. Yeah, because I saw, I noticed somebody else said at the beginning. Right? Because we recorded. I wrote that shit. Went to the studio. Dude says 12 bars. I said, cue me in. I freestyled the last four. But if y'all ever, nobody listens to I bring it up. If you listen to Attached, I've been talking the side nigga shit from the first song. Okay. Yeah, which you have. And so if you go look and even Satan was an angel and caught a case when emotions get involved, that's when hearts break. That's the chances that I can't take. Yeah, because I, I noticed that hey, I noticed that, that that whole album did have like a more of a you know, I wanna say religious, but like it, it was really centered around God. So like with like was you locked up at that time and you got out and God was a big thing for you? So what it was is so the original album cover, I'm gonna re put it out, is actually a, a prison photo. That uh shout out to DJ JTS going to come right. Where had you like an orange jumpsuit, yeah, right? It was okay. A real prison photo. Okay, because the one on Spotify, it has... It's different. Yeah, yeah okay. Man, man, you change it for a minute. Right? Okay. Man, man. But uh, it's a real photo, so I hit S. Cole, he did that. What happened was, organically, that's why I always say, shout out to Lover J, that's my big bro, is I'm fresh out. See, they ain't even rapping yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. not... I'm just moving around like, wait. I don't mm -hmm. even think I made it. I, I don't even think I made a touch yet. I might if I... Nope. I don't even think I made that song yet. Like, matter of fact, people don't even know I rap. Oh, damn. I pull up. They kind of know I rap. Because I didn't. But yeah, they don't did know. So yeah. I go to Yak yeah, Nasty video. Follow it. Sliding in the bucket. It's on YouTube. The Northwest Realtors really had the blueprint. Like, we probably could have got a deal. Right? Like, real talk. We was buzzing like that. Off of me, Yak, Savage, and Kish, and Twist being the manager, the host. Right? And he uh -huh. got some songs that people know. But off of me and Yak grinding the, the solos. Uh -huh. And then we made, not really made, just it's just an in-house joke. We just told Savage and Kish, y'all need to be a crew. Because okay. when my cousin Savage, that's, see, that's how I came to the Northwest Weirdos we got. My cousin Savage now, well, hold was on. already now, with him. Now, now, talk about the, the uh, now, what you call them? The Northwest the Weirdos. Weirdos. That's why okay. I couldn't skip over that to nothing to the stick guy because that came before that. Well, no, 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 because that actually brings me to yeah. another question. Actually, before we t like before I talk about stick game, yeah, I wanted to ask you, why do you think the Pacific Northwest hasn't had a run yet? Because, because like, when you look at all these other artists, right? Like, you look at the Bay Area, they had Hyphy, West I'm Coast, well, hold on, West Coast had gangster rap, right? Uh, Houston, they had they, you know, screw, and all home. that. But I'm saying, like, well, but because I'm home. But what are you home? Check this out. Like, like what's, shout what's out to all minds that bless me and embrace me. And this is the reason I can say this because they can be like city, take it and go. Right? So other than like a lot, other than the artists that's my age, mm -hmm. the artists my age, at mm -hmm. some point they became fathers and things of that nature. Right? Okay. So they might have had a lightweight buzz, but it's mature black men who said, you know what? I don't want to be one of the disenfranchised and the absentee father. I can't always focus on the rap shit. I got to pay the bills first. Right? So when we had the door where hip hop was really spinning that check, mm -hmm. right? All we had was mix a lot. Oh, so we these, don't support each other. So there's no unity. See, the old niggas got old, right? Mm -hmm. And they still want to be the OGs, right? The young niggas are like, yo, we out here grinding for what we grinding for. Co sign us, right? Okay. Me, I'm the rapper to go, check this out. I went to prison at 17. I came home at 34. The day I recorded Buzzing in My City, I turned in my last college assignment to graduate with a degree in business management, business administration. 2016. Right? Mm -hmm. But I fucked with the young because even though I had the maturity at the time of a 34-year-old college and things of that nature, right? Mm -hmm. I messed up with little, little City's mom. Shout out to Jillian Suarez. You know what I'm saying? That's Lil City, my son, Lil City, and Scoop Scoop. Not That's really. their mom. Like, she, the first hundred copies of Welcome to Lacey are classics. She hand wrote City Wilson, Welcome to Lacey on them. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But I was the older dude that came home and said, Look, I watched these dudes for 17 years. And most older niggas, when they was coming back to the joint, right? 
it was over some shit with the young next generation because they wanted to go home and be Billy Badass. Okay. So when I came home, I wasn't on rap at first. So when I started rapping in the end of my young generation, I'm like, yo, fuck that. Let me get on your shit. What can I do, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I can call. I can make a call to half the rappers, any rapper damn near from Washington State and be like, y'all need a verse. So you basically just feel that the Pacific Northwest hasn't had their run because there's no unity. Or there hasn't been any unity. Yeah. Back to this goddamn Welcome yeah. to Lacey album. You had a goddamn uh, a song on that motherfucker that actually sampled uh, Anniversary What's for Tony Tony Tony. I think it was, um, uh, what's it called? New... New Day. New Day, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, so how that shit come about? Because it's like you and somebody else on that motherfucker. It ain't just you. I made Buzz in my city the same night. I came so, home. So you did both of them the same night? So, like, actually, I, I wrote Buzz in my city in my head the same night. So this is so when we were shooting that, we was doing that. And uh, shout out to my boy, Will Max. Stick game. So... What's going on with the stick game movement? So, first you want to know how I got down with it? Or yeah, you know? yeah. How did you get down with stick game? And so, how, and, how and, 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 and I want you to explain to all the viewers, what like, what's that about? So, this is how I got down with stick game. Shout out to my big bro lover, Jay, Jose Gutierrez. Queens Drive, we've been doing it since the 80s. Oh, uh, really? That's all people don't know is that was like my big bro. Okay. We didn't talk the whole time I was locked up because at that time me and Jay was moving different. We had way different crowds of friends. So if you wasn't tapped in, if you really wasn't like, you know, in the nineties, motherfuckers wasn't writing you, bro. Like, it is what it is. Like, I got about probably three letters from motherfuckers. I ain't never got a I got one letter from motherfuckers from Thurston County. I got four hundred cousins out here. Mm-hmm. That wasn't a female. But so when I came home, so I'm gonna tell y'all, so this is how the whole shit went. Because it's, it's a process, but I'll make it sure I ain't going to hold you. Oh, no, you good. So, Lover Jack, I, I recorded Buzz in My City. I had to walk in the Lacey album. It was basically ready. Okay. Lover Jay does an article on me, actually, in a magazine called cspot.com. Okay. He's like, yo, I need you to like put out two songs. Right? Mm-hmm. So, I knew Buzz in My City was a motherfucking hit. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew it. But I didn't even know nothing about the digital distribution at the time. Like, I got Welcome to Lacey sitting here. All I know is burn some CDs and get on the block. This is, yeah, right? Because right? obviously you got, the, you got that summer yeah. 2016, you right? You got the, the independent um, mentality. That's all I know right now. Already. So mm-hmm. I sent him Buzzing in My City and Letter from the Lord, right? Which is the nac- Yak Nasty Beat. That's the beat the day I first met Yak. Okay. I was in his video. We went to his house. We vibed. That's why I was saying he's... It was like I want to produce your album for free, and that's was like that's how we just linked. It was it was organic, but like okay. I said, like it's for I love that nigga. So when I come home, me and Lover Jane's other cousin Ray Humphrey, right? We like how did we? He a few years older than me. Jay's like I know you had to see little Eric when you just come down here. He be you know. So he sat me down. He, Jay said he told me they said Ed, show my fam what you do. Right, so we just chilling in the club. I just grabbed the mic and the sandpan, do what I do. And started spitting for him. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, said, shout out to the sandpan. Yeah, shout out to <laughs> shout out to Anthony Griffin and his mom, Miss Poonia. Shout out to the sandpan. Shout out to Anthony Griffin and his mom, Miss Poonia. Thank you because y'all have let me grow as an artist. Out, 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 out of Lacey, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all have <laughs> let me grow as an artist, and y'all don't trip because I do some banger shows there too. But thank you. But so I do what I do, and it was just crazy because. Like, I always been Jay's little brother. Okay. Me? So, right. and it was like me and Ray couldn't remember if we seen each other or been around each other because he's a couple years older than me. But the family tie was there, right? So okay. he sat me down at the table. You know, I used to be way more wild. You know. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, so, like, I think so, all of us would. And it was because of, <laughs> of Big Ray when he said, he said, City, you're hot, mm-hmm. but hot burns people, right? He said, Warm attracts them. Okay. He said, I need you to be warm. Not change who you are. You're hot. Be warm. And I understood what he was saying. He was just saying, embrace the room instead of showing the room. Okay. Matter. So he goes, he's one day, that same day, he goes, hey, I want to introduce you to my homie Biz. I think you getting with him. Now, you Biz know, is. Biz one of the original stick guy. Okay. Okay. Right? He's from LA. So 
He put us on the phone that night. We just chopping it up. I get a call from Biz like two, three days later. He's like, yo, I'm in Lacey. What? He's like, yeah, you on Samurai Third? I'm like, yeah, well, he's dropping me location. I got my baby mom with me who's pregnant. Hold on, so he come up from. Thank you. He pull up. He live up north at the time by Federal Way. Okay. All right. Hey, I got my baby mom. Damn, yeah, shout out to Biz. Goddamn shit. <laughs> you feel me? She pregnant. Okay. I'm like, whoa, but, you know, like, Lacey, we've been, we been, City came home. Let's keep it real. City been home. This motherfucker went up. Yeah, I can dig it. But I'm like, saying, but, so, but, that's but, what I'm saying. But, but, so, but for a nigga to come all the way, you know what I'm saying? He ain't had to do that. So for you to come so, with hey. your baby mama, who's pregnant. So hold on. He came with his baby mama. Who was pregnant. Two, seven, right, and third. Like, and we up at the time. As usual, like, you know, shit been going up. Shout out I, to God. So he pull up, he said, hey. Shout I got, out to me. He said, I'm dropping my bike off out here to do something. But if I'm going to come to Lacey, let's the first time we meet face to face. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's but what's we have been talking on the phone, right? Okay. So once we get face to face, he said, check this out, little bro. I said, what's up? He said, I see you at your soul, Lacey movement. And we all tapped in as family anyway. He said, I don't want you to stop doing nothing you doing, right? I just, we got a movement, right? And he broke it down. So stick, gang, is stick to your script. Everybody got a script in life. So check this out. When you worried about what the other nigga doing at your job, right? Mm -hmm. You fucking up with your paperwork. But when you go to work every day and knock out what you're supposed to walk out, don't focus on everything. Guess what? Your boss give you a rise, promotion, wife happy because you home early, you good, you feeling good, and sat in break for five hours, right? Stick your script. You ain't worried about it, so. Big game. And he just told me, he said, so <laughs> everybody got a script in life, young guy. And, and and this stick game is a movement. And, you know, like Biz and them, they was the, they the generation before me. You okay. feel me? So, just naturally because of Ray and Jay. Now, y'all do not just music. Y'all do yeah, we music. Do, we I do. see shirts. We do not. We don't do shirts. We do clothing. We do branding. Oh, my shit. My clothing. bad. Hey, I apologize. So okay. we have so. Stick Gang TV. Okay. Stick Gang, well, StickGangTV.com. Right. StickGangMedia.com. You got uh, Stick Gang Remy. You can look up on Instagram. Uh, you got Shay the Mac. He won't change his fucking name. Stick Gang Shay, like I told him. You got uh, <laughs> Stick Gang Biz. Okay. You got the CEO, uh, uh, CEO Larger Than Life Legs, Jay. So when Biz came to me, he just said, and then like done, like, so like people don't realize, Purge Team Me's, he fuck with us. Done mm -hmm. deal entertainment. Done. We got the movie. Stick Gang got the movie. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, hey, what's going on with the movie, man? So how, yeah. how did that come about? Because I was like, hey, they got a movie. What's the movie? Oh, shit. Excuse me about that one. So let's keep, I'm going to keep it all, I'm going to keep it all the way. I'm going to keep it all the way. This was crazy. Because that's on Amazon. On Amazon Prime, y'all. It's called From Nothing. It's called From Nothing. This was crazy. That movie was actually shot while I was even a part of Stick Gang. You know oh, what I'm saying? Before I was even a part of it. Okay, because I saw your part in that. Well, I saw one of the parts that you had in that movie. No, I got, that's the other one that we put. That's my other shit. That's the, that's my, uh. The one where you sit, I'm talking about where you sitting down. That's my Vegas social. And the nigga talking to you. That's Vegas social. That's my hip hop. That's Love and Hip Hop. What the fuck? Come on. <laughs> so, if you go look at that show. Yeah, that's Las Vegas' version of Love and Hip Hop. There's Raz B on there from B2K. Yeah, he's on that in, 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 in interview. He's on that same episode. Oh shit! If you go look at that, uh, when we're doing the show with Bilal, come home soon, baby boy. Fuck how y'all feel. Me and Bilal keep it hundred for real. So when the episode finally came out, I only saw that part that you that, that that was on your story. And that's if you look. I'm only in. I'm only in here for like that part. It's like a nigga talking to you. Like, yeah, we talking. And yeah. I'm in here. He's popping his shit, and you know I always drink coffee. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the background popping at a, a woman who owned a beauty shop who was like, "Your city Wilson, I've been following you from last year." So if you look at, but so the producer didn't know, uh -huh. like my homie B set it up because okay. he got the same managers from B two as Raz B and all them. That's how Raz B and them D shot and all them came out. He okay. tapped me in with D shot. Okay. I didn't even know who D-Shot knew I was. That's Hold what I said. on, D-Shot from... He was just... Up, he fought his brother. He fought his brother. He fought the brothers, yeah. Bro, you Shout have, out to goddamn D-Shot. Shout out to D-Shot. I got a video... Huckleberry. At, at the show shit. where he <laughs> say... They got a video where he say, my brother Fody watches everything he does. And they like... Oh, what? nigga, hey, no, I can no, fuck no, with D-Shot, No, we're not talking about me, though. Okay. Like, he's pointing out, like, Raz B and D-Shot are sitting right here. And D-Shot is telling people in the show... When we when we in a little VIP area and they thinking I'm just local little they homie that raps mm -hmm. and he's 
like giving me like the left side out, the east side for that. He was like, yo, y'all don't realize little cities make big noise. Vallejo, Long Beach, Lacey, right? And uh -huh. there's people sitting there and they listening. And he's like, my brother watches what he does, right? That's and, what's up. And to me, it wasn't nothing like, it was just so good for D-Shot as an elder in the game, mm -hmm. right, to go. I don't have to say this, right? But this young guy right here, like I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let because I wasn't on my rapper. I was trying to make D shot make sure he was good. All right, you and Lacey said he my promotion. I'm just, you feel me helping? The, I'm on the show, but I'm just making sure you good because my homies, bro. And just the love he showed. I had to. I, Raz, so he was so D shot was out here. Yeah, Frankie. Oh, oh well, Raz B. Raz B. Trying to play me. My man Frank is up on Pacific. Yeah, we was up. I got pictures of Raz B at the house, everything. Me, Palau, Raz B. Raz. Look, Raz B trying to play me. He didn't know. Right? But we laughed. It wasn't even that. It was fun. Like, we really, got that Raz look, B, we really man. laughed at the moment. He's like, that the Raz B got So I'm in the little area. You know how Frank is, so they trying to corner it off by the bars and shit. So you can only go one way where the rappers can be. They hooked it up a little, right? Uh -huh. So Raz be like, yeah, we talking. He's like, yeah, man. Uh, slide up there and grab me a drink, my nigga. <laughs> I said, hold on, I was just spraying stuff on me. He trying to play you like that. This is how funny this shit was. When Rasby said this shit, I looked at him, I said, and I got a drink in my hand. I said, nigga, I'm City Wilson. I don't even get myself a drink. <laughs> he said, I ain't know, nigga. But that's why I laughed. I said, Raz, I got a story now. You feel me? I'm driving my life, nigga. Wait, well, now, uh, so, so what, what, what's next for you? So, uh, what's next for you when it comes to music and shit? Like, what you, you know what I'm saying? Like, is there any artists you like to work with? Or? Hell yeah. Y'all gonna laugh and you know what I wanna work with. Who you wanna work with? I wanna fuck with Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? I wanna fuck with Bieber. Alright. And I wanna fuck with that. You got the Bieber fever. <laughs> I, wanna I wanna fuck with, uh, who else? Lil TJ. Screw me. Lil TJ? 100. I love that nigga shit. I boogie with the hoodie. Oh yeah, I love Shout that day young boogie. Nigga shit. Uh, from uh, come out from New York. Yeah, I got homies. I got homies out there. You know, shout what? out to the Uptown and Sunny Death Rose. You know what, what I'm saying? They know they Row Gang. Twenty two hundred blocks up. Who else you got? Who uh, else you think? My dream collab, with me. like it's crazy. What, like what, for what, our West Coast anthem, is which your like, three? Which your top three artists you'd like to work with? Well, my favorite, like, like, like you asked me, what my top five? My favorite rapper? No, no, you already no, told me. I'm just saying, like, I told you my top five. No, you already told me what your top five was. Who's my favorite rapper, though? Oh, no, you didn't tell me your favorite rapper. Who's my was? favorite rapper. I told you my top five lyrically, and because of why? Cause yeah, of the whole. Y'all uh, know who my favorite rapper is. Who your favorite rapper? DJ Motherfucking Quick, bro. Oh, shit. Shout out to DJ Quick. Bro, when, damn. I heard, when I heard that. Hey, I fucking was... quick, though. <laughs> I fucking quick, man. Bro, when I heard that. I fucking like, quick. I heard, like I told you, I heard the beatbox and all that shit, and I was like, uh, do this. But when I heard Quick is the name. That's the shit. No, go listen to Welcome to Lacey, right? Mm -hmm. And tell me, and then go look at listen to Quicker Than That. Quicker Than That, like most albums, have a pattern. They don't I ain't shit. gonna lie, I'm trying to think about it because uh, well, you, you know now, that damn uh, Welcome to Lacey, the cover kind of looked like uh, one of what look like one of old DJ Quick's uh, albums, man. Kinda. That's yeah. why I said <laughs> Quicker Than That. The first album is just his profile pic. That's all right. <laughs> But if you go listen to how that album's formatted and how Quicks is, yeah. Quicks first album Quicks the name well like come on like it don't have no it don't have a it has a pattern but it don't, right? Cause oh, yeah, yeah. So well, yeah, well you well you know he dropped his you know he had the mixtape, he had the red tape, and then when he signed with uh profile, they had him redo a lot of those bro, I'm along the biggest along. David Blake fan in the world. Oh no, I fucking quick. I'm shit. Cause you know that Ricky Bobby. Well, yeah, was, uh, oh yeah, you know Ricky, Ricky Bobby, Bobby yeah, right there. Shout hey, out to yeah. JG, hey. aka J. Yeah. Donovan. <laughs> yes. So hey. y'all, anybody want to yes. know Ricky? Che so, hey, check out the Ricky Bobby. And oh. I want to know what's up with Ricky Bobby. You want to know what it is? Yes. What is up with that? So I thought New Edition, and then at first I thought the Ricky. You know Ricky, when the nigga got shot on Buzz in the Hood. So what's happening? Uh, they call heroin and shit Ricky Bobby. Ah, uh -huh. right. Uh huh. So the Ricky Bobby is when I said Ricky Bobby pulled for, for, for you know the rules to the game, right? So the Ricky Bobby is saying these motherfuckers are on heroin. The first off, you know, they first off they out here out of pocket, cause I don't give a fuck. 
if you whoever you are as a person, there ain't nothing, there ain't nobody in the world. There's no group affiliation, person, man, woman that wants you to associate yourself with heroin. You know what I'm saying? Opiate. So all right. Freeze, Ricky Bobby, make them pose for the frame. Outline them in chalk. That's the rules of the game. Yeah. So the freeze, Ricky Bobby, is you gonna all day. Right? So the freeze, Ricky Bobby, make them pose for the frame. Outline them in chalk. Oh. Right? Yeah. Dead body. That's the rules of the game. Get it now? I think I should do a video for that motherfucker. So, like, all you got to do is shoot the video. They know, hey, like, they need a video. I need a video ASAP for that. Yes. Like, hey. I don't, I don't <laughs> they need a video. Listen, they need a video. I got drawn. And, who, and who's the other artist on there? Uh, that's JG. JG? That's fam. That's JG. Yeah, that's all right, shout out to JG. When I went to Vegas by myself, mm -hmm. he found out. I went to Vegas by myself for a week and just handed out Welcome to Lacey CDs. Hey, shout out to JG. You need to, hey, y'all need to get together, get a video done. All we gotta do is call JG. You said you want to shoot it. See, listen. No, I ain't say I was gonna shoot it. Why don't you I got there. No, hell no, I ain't finna shoot it. So Nigga, if I, I shoot this podcast, so if I, I shoot it, if I shoot it, go edit it. Cause I shoot it. I got it. Listen, mother, like, all you young rappers okay, out there. I might be, I might fuck with that. I listen, might fuck with that. I'm gonna tell all you young rappers, I'm gonna give y'all a cheat code that don't none of these rappers wanna give y'all right now. I'm gonna show y'all how to. I'm gonna show y'all how to really do it. I'm gonna give y'all 100 cheat code. What's that? First off, go get you two iPhones. Get you the iPhone that you use. Make sure that's either between a, a X and up, because it updates to 4K. You know what I'm saying? Period. Okay. You get you. That's the one you use. You get you another one. Hopefully, X and up. You got two phones. You can shoot videos on in 4K HD. Oh, I know. No, no, watch. I'm giving, oh. I'm giving these for the young guy. Oh, yeah. You're giving so y'all the game. Out. Pay attention, goddammit. You can go buy a MacBook from Walmart for $400, and they got a program on there called iMovie. You can edit, and it ain't the dopest editing features of a video you want. But you can edit a video so cold and use some of their effects to make it look so grainy and whatever. I, I got a video that I made a comic book out of. Even, I got a video to ride my way, but it's been sitting at my computer for two I think, years. I think shit need to get back to the old independent days. Nigga. So, no, that's why I'm giving these deals to Okay, that's why I'm giving Okay, you already got them on the MacBook. Yeah, so okay. you, get, you go in there, MacBook. you can get a MacBook for $400, or you can go to Pawn Shop, you can go to Rent a Center. All y'all been charging the cars in your baby mama's name. Just have her go to Rent a Center, and you can go get a MacBook in the same girl's name. You ain't going to pay the bill anyway. Let's stop playing with it. Y'all got PPE loans. It's going to go in there and give $200. <laughs> you can get a MacBook. Y'all still get them. Already. So then you go to pawn shop or you go on Amazon, you get your preamp, you get your compressor, and you get you an M audio box, a little tiny M audio box. You run the pre, you run your mic and your preamp and compressor and your M audio box. Now you spend a little bit, right? You probably about six, seven hundred in. So you might not be able to go get a Logic Pro right away or Pro Tools right away. Ricky Bobby was mixing mastered on GarageBand. Slut Walk was Rick, was mixing mashing on the Garage Band. Jail Talk was mixing mashing on Garage Band. Six is new video that's up. If KTE Six, shout out to my fraternal organization, King Team Empire. I'm tripping. I ain't getting no shout out to see. You know what I'm saying? High Emperor Ace, High Emperor Six. I'm <laughs> tripping. Are you good? Know, but you know, salute to them. But yeah, you see it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If y'all wouldn't know my beat, if y'all my B, I messed them up. These is real, like these my people, like these ain't. Yeah, no, you know, you told me them yeah, from Wyoming, Wyoming. Wyoming. These came, yeah. like y'all want some bees like this cousin. These came from the family. Shout out to the Native Americans, yeah, man. Cause they they ain't a lot, nigga. Nat hey, Native is a heavy thing around this. They piece. came from Karen Ward. You can look her up. She's one of my friends. All if right. you look at my little bro, Osh the Ghost from Wyoming, he got the song on YouTube, uh, beat it up like the chief. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, cause. I right. said, that's the he did well, like, yo, my little, uh -huh. my little bro, if y'all don't know about a native that can go, oh, shit, look up Osh the Ghost from Casper, Wyoming. Y'all seen me keep going to Wyoming, selling out shows, wondering why I keep going out there. That's my little bro. His mom, like, I met him in the joint. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. like, his whole family embraced me out there. We sold out every drop of liquor in the reservation at my shop. Oh, shit. Then I dropped my phone in the crack of the stage. Now, now my name in Wyoming, and the stage is bolted to the floor. I've been to Wyoming, nigga. Right. <laughs> we in a, we said Riverton at night doing a show in the oh, Reds, right? My homeboy producer, King Wilson, K-Dub, looking up. He's my friends. 
Uh, he climbed uh, under the no, he climbed under the stage through like a two foot hole. Nigga, why you was performing? Yes, to get because I'm like, <laughs> look, I'm telling him I'm a, like my phone's on the thing, so I can't video it, right? Okay, I'm a still rock though, but I'm telling the club owner we're not leaving this motherfucker. Cause I got my phone, y'all got me fucked up. I got because that time I drove rode the Greyhound and bus out there. Like you think I'm finna like? Nah, you got me fucked up. My boy carried oh, out. Shit, I thought you had gassed up the goddamn hoop. <laughs> uh-uh, this is the first time because I had never, I did, I never like drove through Wyoming like that before. So I had jumped on the ground. Oh yeah, that motherfucker boy, they got some good miles and miles on that bitch. But by 80, 80, 85? No, uh, I was, I was there a month later in the rental. With, shout out to, oh. shout, shout out to the <laughs> car owners of So Lacy Entertainment. So people don't realize So Lacy Entertainment. Yeah, like, that, 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 that's LLC. Yeah, that's your shit. But no, that's not my shit. I th- that ain't no, your no, shit. No, that's my shit. But that's Darche. Nah, shout out to my boy Sheik. Shout oh, out to shit. shout out to Joey. That's oh, so you got another cash you like, putting on? So like, I had the vision, right? Uh-huh. Oh, really? Uh, I had the vision. Mm-hmm. Joey had a couple of hours at the time. Uh huh. And Sheik's our bro, so it's like you know I already had the so lacy, right? But it was like, yo, bro, let's turn this fuck, let's turn this shit into a business. Let's get a, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, at first it was going to be me and Joey. And that's when my cousin, um, Jerm, he was just getting locked up and shit. And Jerm was just like, yo, like, bro, we got, you You got to stay focused. If, even if everything fuck up. You feel me? You okay. got to stay focused because Jerm, that's how to Jerm. If you listen to my uh, Quiet on the Set and shit like that, that's when I say, shout out to Jerm. He always told me, stick my hand out. That's him and Joey. Yeah, which I bought, like, I listened to it. Yeah, so when he caught his little case, it was like, what can I do? Like, the homies ain't trying to hear me always talking about rap. I used to piss them off. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, man, I'm the, st- I'm the rapper. So it was like, let me, let's be business owners. Oh, okay. So me, Joey, and she, we sat down one day. So let's go get our LLC. We all do it together. We got our business license. So, Salt Lacey Entertainment LLC is actually a three-headed monster. And see, when I lost 200 pounds, right? Because uh-huh. I got sick and had surgery. When everybody was out here saying, city's on dope. Then I went on dope. They told me I had cancer and I quit going to the doctor. Took my gallbladder out. You heard that in mind. You know what I'm saying? Took my gallbladder out. She, no, she, uh, uh, Adriana Mercado uh-huh. was my girlfriend at the time. And uh, yeah, Miana, you was at my house. You feel me? I was her best friend. Mm-hmm. She, that's my bro. That's my son. That's Lil City's uncle. He pulled up on me. There's weed because he knew I wouldn't take the pills. The pain pills and shit. Yeah. He tell me I'm sitting on my couch and I sleep. Me and she playing 2K. I'm not 2K, but man, that's my bro for real. Like, so you got your gall blood. I took it out, and, and, and I'm still looking at me. I go up and down the way. Well, City, I appreciate you coming in, my nigga. I'm glad you blessed us with, with, with the knowledge of everything. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even going to bless you. Let's, <laughs> you know, let's, keep it, let's keep it funky. We got anything else you want to say? Yeah, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it again, What's man. You got it from the day I met you, Rock, Corey. We talk about South Carolina, Virginia, all this. And we all found out we had a mutual... Descendant, which is that span, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And anybody watching, you and I both know from the Carolinas to the Virginias to the Georgias, they gonna go. They said span, they family. The way the world is right now, you need to find people. Need to start putting a team together of loyal people. It's not about gang banging. It's not about creed. It's not about color. It's about people that really bond and come together as a whole. And people look at City and I pop my shit and talk about being a side nigga. And I just really want to say on your podcast because I'm so proud of you. Like, you started with somebody. You had to start over. You had to do whatever. Like, in my mind, like, I, I'm the nigga. I'm com- I'm going to let y'all know right now. I'm coming once a month. <laughs> just to pop my shit on local events. Just to promote my fam shit. And hey, say no, something pro- about hey, some stick cat and shit. I appreciate it. And if, it, and if I can't do it once a month, I'm coming on it. When he say city, we're we, we supposed to do this, what, on Halloween? Shit. Yeah, we supposed to do it on Halloween.
Today yeah, we yeah. were just on the mind up. Yeah, yeah, we both was on the same He's mind like, frame. And so when I hit him up, I'm like, hey, what you got going on? And then he like, shit, what you got going on? I'm free as mug. I'm like, shit, they got, hey, come through so we can get this goddamn podcast. Right, so for me, it's, just, it's just fun. Like, you was like, it take 30 minutes. I'm like, he don't, like. Nah, I know it's going to be more than 30 minutes. But, like, that's what I was like. You said the unity. That's why you said. I just want to give everybody their flowers, man. And, 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 and I wanna, I'm talking about, nigga, I ain't talking about just mainstream. Because I done met a lot of mainstream artists. I done met Devin the Dude. I done met. Bone Thugs and Harmony. I you know am mainstream. <laughs> no, I'm talking about just... I am mainstream. I get... <laughs> you niggas, what? Oh, my fuck, my fuck, look. I'm doing a <laughs> lot of shit. Yeah. No, but hey, hey, I want to give everybody their flowers, man. man. I'm talking about from underground to Mr. Underground. Listen, Listen <laughs> but salute to Biz. Like, you said the stick gang yeah, wearing yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Shout out to Biz. That man. was Biz. That, like, you see like you see stick gang and Soul Lacey all over Thurston County, y'all. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been fucking with it. I've been following mm-hmm. and shit. But, but you see the clothes, you know why? Because Biz said, look, check this out. Fuck having this store up here, right here, city. Like, you love, I love selling clothes. I love selling this merch. I love not only when people donate me clothes and I put my logo on it and give it away for free. I love giving it to the community just for free. You don't see that on my Instagram. You don't see that. Mm-hmm. But I pull up downtown, smoke three blunts with the homeless people and give out four bags of stick gang, so lacy, stick chick clothes. Right? Mm-hmm. And, I, and people, other rappers go, why do you do that? And I go, this is my city, bro. So if I'm going to don't, why, why the fuck am I going to donate to the Goodwill where they got to go buy it? When you can just... But I can it. put the logo on it and I can give the people that can't go afford the stick gang so they see this KTE, the brands, and then what we represent as a family because KTE, stick gang, so they see, it's one family. Oh, really? You feel me? It's, it's, it's one. It ain't no done deal, done deal entertainment, all that. It's one. You know what I'm saying? Parts team, me, the mafia. It's one. We all together, like, stick gang is just the umbrella because of the older homies. You feel me? Oh, really? Those are our older homies that said, yo, y'all, uh, uh, me's, you got a movement, you love us, and we fuck with me's 100. Purse team ain't stick gang, but he support us. And to me, in my mind, I always tell him, nigga, stick gang. And he oh, loved it. But oh, MKF and all that. But that's how we put it together. And to lead by example to show, you know what, and all them rappers that I've named today, they've all are rappers that I know genuinely have given back to their community and you've never seen it. Well, hey, I appreciate everything so, that you I, I appreciate you coming through. I appreciate you giving back to the And we killed this whole bottle. Already. You now know you got to turn on your way to the studio. You give me love, baby. Yeah, Put man. your dick up about the hill. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Already, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I don't thank you, but I'm going to show you how. Tell mama don't be mad how you yeah, If you don't know, money makers rule the world, so come with us. I don't thank you, mama. but I'm going to show you how. Mama. If you don't know, money makers rule the world, man. Class, I